Hi, I'm Dave with Kittatinny Tree Service. Today, we're going to show you how to cut down a tree. First, we make sure that we have our safety glasses. BCGs, for those who wear prescriptions. Hearing protection, specifically manufactured by steel. And the chainsaw. Um, the one thing I want to point out about this chainsaw uh, before we get started is that on steels, steel chainsaws, how long am I? Right here, steel chainsaws have this line right here that gives you a general direction of the fall. When you're laying the saw into the tree, thusly, once it's at its stopping point, this will give you a general idea of where the tree, where the notch is facing. So you want to learn how to cut down a tree? This is how you make a notch. Here we go. Saw's already warmed up. This isn't usually an issue on smaller trees, but when you get into a tree this big, it uh, sometimes helps to have a little bit of a guide from one side so you can see where the tip of your chainsaw is aiming. So what I do is I stick a little stick right here. That way, <clears throat> when I come from the other side, I line up this part of the bar with the notch the kerf cut over here. The tip I line up with that stick over there and it usually works out pretty good. good cut. Now what we're going to do is we're going to step way back and make sure that this notch, this hinge that we put right here is facing the exact direction that we want the tree to okay. fall. Videographers we are not. That's why I'm kind of crouched down like this. We just got done setting up the camera and everything. Okay, so anyway, on a tree this big, <clears throat> the bigger a tree is, the more you would need to hold. Uh, wood as a hinge, okay? And what I mean by that is when we come in with our back cut from this direction, straight over this way, 
we want to leave a couple inches on a tree this big. Maybe three inches would do just fine. We've got a rope up in the top. This was a large tree. We took the whole top out. All the brush and most of the wood is out of the top. We also have a rope up there. But with the lean of this tree, we really don't need to have a rope up in it. It's, it's safe enough without it. But anyway, um, we're going to start cutting in from the back and uh, the tree should start to go over. Okay. as I'm going along. Make sure we have just about the right amount of distance that we need. And right now it looks good. Ideally, you know, you want to be as close to parallel as possible with the the bottom of the uh, the curve or the cut on the bottom of the notch in front. Um, you can see that there's about maybe three inches of wood on this side, and on uh, this side I cut it a little bit closer so we kind of steered the tree as it was going down. But uh, anyway, that's about it, and. Um, Again, as far as uh, safety and um, regarding chainsaw operation, consult your owner's manual in the handbook of the chainsaw that you own. And um, that's it. And don't forget to check out www.kitatinnytree.com. Got all kinds of cool stuff on there, a couple links. And uh, you know, we're located here in Hackettstown, New Jersey. So if you're in the area and need some tree work, give us a call. Thank you.